Welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. That is Free Capped by Kieran Johnson. That's how clean it is. Um, it's very simple to do. The pen is already set up to do it for you. It comes with the DVD. You also get a little extra something in case your gimmick breaks and you need to make another one or if you just want to make a couple other ones. Um, so you can also do that. Uh, and there's another one where you can take the cap off and... Uh, you can hold it in your hand like this, a little shake, and it's back on again. So that's basically the effect that you're getting. There's not much more to it than that. Uh, I do kind of like the method where you turn around like that. What I like about this is it's completely self-contained. You're not hooked up to it in any way, uh, and everything you need is here. And then the DVD actually teaches you how to gimmick up basically any pen that has a cap, uh, and, and it's pretty simple and easy to do. So, uh, it's a pretty short DVD, just like this review is going to be, um, but uh, this is what you're getting, and it's, I gave it five stars, Stone Silas of Gem, I think it was uh, 30 or 35 bucks, somewhere in that range, um, but either way, it's solid, I mean, again, five stars, and it's super easy to do, and um, it's big by media, so you know the production quality is fine, the gimmick is well made, um, so the question is just going to come down to, do you see yourself doing this kind of a trick? Um, is that the kind of... I don't do tricks where I put stuff in my mouth. I only did it for the demo just because I thought it would be funny. But um, I, I don't typically do that. But I can see myself doing the in-the-hands version. And the advantage of the in-the-hands version is um, it's you're even less likely to expose the method, I think. Um, there is a slight possibility that something may flash when you're doing it in your mouth. But... Uh, distance I think is fine you know if you're doing it a couple feet away I think you're okay um, so this is an easy one to review and to give a rating to so because it's such a short video uh, let's let me just reemphasize my take on reviews especially if you're new to the channel here um, whether I think that's a cool effect or not is totally irrelevant um, it doesn't matter if I would ever do this trick or I would never do this trick doesn't matter what I'm telling you is that the method is good. It's it's doable. I've never tried it before, except for one or two times before I filmed it, just to make sure that I, I knew how to work the method and that it was doable. I've never practiced it. I've never performed it. And yet, I, you just saw me do it on the camera very quickly and easily. Um, so it's super simple, super easy. It's a legitimate method. It's not some scam where you have to do, do all this weird stuff that they don't cover in the ad copy or anything like that and then speaking of the ad copy that's the other big thing that's important to me is is it legitimate do they tell the truth do they claim anything that is not true and they did not they are, it's absolutely solid uh, production quality gimmick quality again the gimmicks well made uh, and you can make this gimmick into any um, sharpie or big pen or any kind of pen just keep in mind that um, the pen is not usable um, once you've gimmicked it up and it just occurred to me the way that you make this you actually could not do this in some pens I'm thinking of um, well you know no it would work in that kind too yeah so scratch that as long as it has a cap I'm pretty sure it'll work in just about any kind of pen um, there may be a few exceptions to that but the more common pens the big pens the um, you know the both kind of the, the clear kind of uh, glass looking tubes and the plastic ones both of those kinds so yeah pretty much any kind of pen with the lid it'll work uh, so uh, this is one of the most rambly videos I've done uh, so I'm gonna shut up five stars stone status of gem random iTunes song of the moment today right now is yeah. <laughs> wow yes Hank Williams, senior, not junior. Not that I don't like junior. I love Hank Williams Jr. too. But I'm just letting you know how old school this is. And I, I love the country songs. They always have the clever names and the clever lyrics. 
And this song is called I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. I love that. Because it's so literal and so true, but yet it also has a deeper sort of poetic meaning if you listen to the song. So that's Hank Williams, I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. This is me saying I'll see you on the next review. Peace and out. <laughs> Thank you.